What is up guys? Welcome back to the Motorhead YouTube channel. So today guys, I actually am working on my own project. I needed the daily and I bought V-Tune Sintra. If you guys watched his videos, you saw this guy bought like a bajillion of these things. And he gave me a really good deal on this one. I paid $3,500 for it, but also I'm doing some work for him, painting two of his cars. So kind of evens out. But as you can see, it does need some work on it. So I need to go ahead and prep this thing and get it painted because I've put 15,000 miles on my S2000 in like six months and that's not good. And I don't really want to keep running it up because it was already low mileage when I bought it. So I need to get this thing painted and ready and we're going to start with this front end. I got to strip it down. That way we can get paint around all the edges and do a really clean job. So I'm going to take these headlights off and this bumper off and then we're going to move on to the door and the back door and then we're going to blend the other fender. So let's get started. Okay, so the door is done. Uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit and untape some of the stuff that I had to tape off, but we're gonna pull the car up right here and I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding it. I need to sand this back door for blend and sand this stuff for paint. So we're gonna pull it up right here, get everything else sanded, and then tomorrow I can put this door on and sand the door and the whole car will be ready for paint. So let's go ahead and pull it up and get it prepped. So I'm gonna sand this all with a 600 and then Everything that I'm blending, I'll sand with the 800. I'm going to use a DA because it's pretty quick. And once I'm done with the DA, I'll just go over everything with the scuff pad. You do have to stay away from your edges. That way you don't sand through. So we're going to go ahead and knock this out real quick. That way we're not here too late. All right, guys, so I got it all sanded, and then I went over it with the Scotch-Brite to get any spots I missed, and it's all ready, and we just have to wait for that door to dry. We'll slap that thing on there, sand this, and get this thing painted, and then I'll have me a nice little reliable daily. And then, when, unfortunately, we do have to do some work on the S2000, so that'll probably be the next project, but as I said, Saturday, the E30 will be at the shop, so stay tuned, guys. It's going to be super exciting, but it's getting late on me, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so it is the next day here and I got the car over here. I went ahead and put that door on and I blocked it all out so the bodywork is good and everything looks super good. I do want to clean it real quick and then I'm gonna get this thing taped up and thrown in the booth and get some plastic over it. And then I'll go ahead and paint it after work today. So let's go ahead and get started, get this thing nice and clean and get it all lined off.
All right, car is prepped. Don is gonna critique my prep job. What do you think, Don? I think it looks fabulous. You need to tape up these holes right here, though. Oh my goodness, he's giving yeah, me more oh, work. Actually, good. this one has a door panel on it, so. It don't matter. The, that, it your can't paint get in. travels in there, or even dirt or trash, even though you blow it out real good, can fly out of there and it gets you dirt and trash into your paint where you could just seal it off and you don't have to worry about it. You can actually, instead of back taping it and putting it in there, you can lay a piece of inch and a half across it nicely and just cut it out because once you put the door handle back in, nobody ever sees it. Mm. Same way here. I'll think about it. Okay. I don't know, Dom, what do you think? Should I stick with half right or should I listen to the master? I think you should stick with body work. <laughs> no, I'm just going to shove some paper in here, dude. What do you think of that? No. Why not? You take some inch and a half and stick it all the way around through there and then just fold it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's going to do it. <laughs> All right, then it ain't getting done. End of discussion. Boom. Through with it before you know what to do with it. Oh, I got to... You're probably going to paint that bumper with the grill in it, let me guess. I'm No, I'm not. I'm about to take it apart and sand it. I my artwork in here while you were here. I wanted to throw a little gold uh, metallic overspray on it. Oh. Oh, come on, dude. You don't want me to be happy. No. Well, yeah, car is all prepped. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean it, and then I got the bumper to sand, and then it'll be ready for paint. Maybe Don will help me with the uh, blend. You don't need no help. I told you how to do it. No, I told you how to well, do it. Telling someone's... I could tell you... Oh, my... What is that? Why are you, you, nit why are you nitpicking? You got some coming out from under that tape. That's right, dude. Dude, why are you nitpicking? Yeah, hey, don't look at the job. Look at the final product. When this thing come out slick, I'm talking about, mm, better than the factory. Yeah, better. Yeah, well, it should be. I mean, the robot's painted it. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clean this thing real quick and sand the bumper. guys so we got the car all prepped and the bumper i'm gonna throw a little bit of bulldog on this and then i'm gonna go ahead and seal all this and seal all this body work and seal that and then we're gonna be ready to spray so this right here is bulldog and it's an adhesion promoter and it just makes sure that the paint bonds really nicely usually if you're sealing you don't have to use this but i would just rather be safe than sorry and i'm gonna spray this and the sealer that way I get a really nice adhesion and you want to do light coats because if this stuff isn't dry and you spray on it, you're going to have a really bad day. So I like to just miss two coats on here, but because I'm sealing it, I'm going to do one coat and that should be good. And that's already overkill. So we're going to seal this, seal all this body work and then start spraying the cover.
All right, guys, so I got it all painted. Uh, it's definitely not perfect. I will admit that. There are a couple of little things that I'm not happy with. Right here on this, there is a little bit of dry spray up top. But other than that, it looks pretty good. I mean, the blend blended out nicely. It's obviously not perfect, but I do want to see it out in the sun. This is going to be my daily, and I'm going to beat on it. So I'm honestly not too worried about it. I think for what it is, it turned out really awesome. Another thing is my gun dripped, which is super unfortunate right there and right there. I'm not sure where it came from. Oh, and right here. I'm really hoping that'll buff out, but other than that, I didn't get no runs or anything. The bumper looks really good, and the car looks awesome, and I can't wait to reassemble it. But, I mean, other than those couple little things, which I'm kind of bummed out about, I think this car turned out pretty good. So, that's going to be it for this one. And also, I do want to give you guys a little update. A lot of people have been asking about the Mustang, and also an update on the E30. All right, guys. So, as you can see, the Mustang is sanded super nicely. Don's been doing all the fine-tuning because he is the professional. Look at him. Look how focused he is. <laughs> But yeah, we sanded this whole thing with the 400 and then a 600 and it's looking super good. Now we're just doing a final one over, make sure all the imperfections are gone. And what do you say, Don? You wanna seam seal this right now? Yeah, we need to seam seal that. So yeah, a lot of this stuff does need to be seam sealed because this car was sandblasted and most of this stuff was ripped out. So we're gonna seam seal all this. I do wanna ask Larry, what exactly he wants seam sealed and then i'll start taping it and once that's seam sealed tomorrow what do you think don we're we gonna paint this tomorrow we should be able to you gonna slick her in yeah i'm gonna hold you to that i'm gonna get it as slick as i can well yeah so you guys will be seeing this video probably saturday this thing looks awesome once we get it slicked in we'll throw all the parts on because they've been taking all the don stands and wash those parts they're a little dusty get this thing out in the sun and see what it looks like i mean this thing has been sitting for a bunch of years and me and don finally convinced larry to get it out and as you can see it's looking awesome but to get to this point was a lot of blood sweat and tears and if you haven't seen the videos be sure to check them out i'll link it down below this was just days of sanding and a lot of tedious time consuming work me and don broke our backs our kneecaps and Yesterday, Don had a little fall right here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just checking the, the trunk for clearance. <laughs> yeah, so I was pulled on the jack, and I almost fell. And then Don was like, oh, I would have laughed if you busted it. Don, why don't you reenact what you just yeah, did? Yeah, okay. <laughs> he, My tried to, still hurt. he pushed it, slipped, and uh, let's just say he went in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not funny, though. Uh, Don's hand still hurts. But, yeah. Lots of blood, sweat, and tears in this thing, and you guys are gonna have to stay tuned and see this get painted. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tape it all off and get all this seam sealed that way it'll be ready for paint tomorrow. All right, so we got it all seam sealed and Larry is going over every imperfection he has found. So soon enough, he'll run out of tape and then we can get on it. We can pull it all off. off with this thing. We can pull it all off and paint and paint. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna go over every imperfection he's found and fix it. 
That way this thing is perfect and then it'll be ready for paint. That's right. When this gets done, we're gonna find a Cobra motor. Dude, supercharged S2000 versus this. Supercharged four cylinder. This thing is slow, it's a boat. 289 high phones are not slow on this car. Mm, we'll see. <coughs> we'll see about that. You guys are gonna see an S2000 supercharged one, versus this drag race. Really? Was it fast? Anyways, guys, we fixed a lot of the imperfections. Definitely still a lot to go over, but it's pretty much ready for paint. We're gonna get this thing done and get it washed. We wanna wash all this inside out. As you can see, all this primer water and everything. We wanna make this as clean as possible because the cleaner the car is and the prep work is, the cleaner the paint job will be. That way we don't have to worry about anything blowing out of anywhere and we can just seal this off and not have to worry about it at all because we will have to tape it here that way we can get paint all up in there and stuff. So I think, what do you think, Don? Should we start washing it or? Yeah, here in a few minutes. Yeah, so we're gonna wash this thing and we're gonna do it in here. It should be fine. We'll just move that car. We need to clean the floor. I'll you, I'll you. Yeah, the floor needs some washing. <laughs> we'll wash all this trash out over there and let Larry deal with it. But Nah, we'll wash all this trash into the paint area. <laughs> but yeah. We're making good progress, guys, and this thing looks awesome. Oh my goodness. Right, guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and the content and if you want to keep seeing content like this be sure to smash that subscribe button it really helps out the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss out on this paint job we're going to be slapping this thing in the booth tomorrow getting it taped up clean and we're going to take an entire day to prep it and paint it number one thing in the paint job is the prep i kind of rushed that car i was painting it on my lunch break and it didn't turn out perfect but honestly for that car i really don't care it looks good and in the sun it'll look even better. I'm gonna put it together and drive that thing. Like I said, I've been putting way too much miles on the S2000, but I'll get that thing done. It needs probably another day, but it might have some hidden frame damage. V-Tune just keeps telling me things that's wrong with it as I'm looking into it. So we'll get it all sorted out and get that thing done 100%. That way it's perfect and ready for the road just in case I wanna sell it in the future. But guys, stay tuned. The E30 will be coming here very soon and I'm just going to get that thing painted too. I'm going to take my time and get it prepped real nicely and maybe even do it on a Saturday and get someone to come help me. But stay tuned, guys. That's going to be super exciting and it's going to happen really soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want, you can stick around and you can follow us on Instagram at motorhead.co. I'll link it down below. We drop a lot of this stuff before the video comes out. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.